As artificial intelligence continues to play an increasing role across the federal government, a critical issue facing IT leaders is how best to ensure the security, privacy, and control of the data and the infrastructure essential for managing AI workloads. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and here to share their perspective on that is Melissa Weiss, Director of Vulnerability Disclosure Program in the Department of Defense Cybercrime Center. Uh, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's set the stage a little. What types of AI use cases are getting the most significant attention uh, at your agency? And can you talk a little bit about, you know, how do you see those efforts bringing greater innovation to your agency's mission? Yes, uh, absolutely. So the DOD Cyber Crime Center, or DC3, has a mission to deliver innovative capabilities and expertise to enable law enforcement, uh, cybersecurity, and national security partnerships. So within that, um, we are certainly looking to increase our DevSecOps and our agile development. Um, we often look at secure uh, security uh, in those processes. And so a lot of investment is going towards that or as we start to uh, create a, a, a different architecture to support those efforts. Uh, so I will be telling you today a little bit about some of our uh, use cases uh, that we are implementing artificial intelligence into. Look forward to hearing that. And just to follow up a little bit, so, you know, when it comes to controlling security and privacy and the associated costs, what are your top concerns about how you store and manage your data? Well, as certainly a DC3, we are a recipient of a lot of different types of data. As you can imagine, working with law enforcement, uh, counterintelligence. Uh, so this is a very uh, select subset of data that we want to not only make sure that we're storing safely, but that we're also sharing out responsibly uh, to our to our uh, stakeholders at large. So that does create um, uh, certainly some challenges challenges at times, um, but we are well versed at how to uh, ensure that we are setting up systems that are secure enough. And uh, that often means certainly that things might be on prem, uh, but also that we want to make sure that things are accessible in a high enough security level that it, it can be useful to um, all of the different constituents that we will be interfacing with. And I appreciate that's a very diverse group. Yes. Um, talk to us a little next, if you would, about, so as we're seeing the growing impact of AI, uh, how, how is that shaping your agency's strategic partnerships going forward? Yes, it, it is definitely uh, coming into play. Now, following on, and you might've seen a recent announcement from the DOD CIO on their expansion and often identified as the 32 CFR part 236. And really what that means is uh, part of the voluntary uh, defense industrial base cybersecurity program that our uh, DC3's DICE program uh, manages for the DOD CIO. Uh, on the heels of that with a very highly successful one-year pilot that, that we ran in the Defense Industrial Base Vulnerability Disclosure Program. We're really looking to take that magic that we've been doing for seven years in the DOD VDP and porting that over to the Defense Industrial Base. But as you can imagine, as we're expanding the offerings from uh, nearly a thousand, over a thousand uh, mm -hmm. members today, and we wanna expand that out to the full defense industrial base, could be more than 300,000. Uh, how are we going to do that? Uh, how do we do that at scale? And that is really where we're focusing on our efforts for artificial intelligence. That's a, certainly a big undertaking. So then the next question becomes, so what are the biggest issues or, or gaps that your organization is starting to address to take fuller advantage of AI's potential as you uh, continue to roll this out? Yes, um, you know, as a federal cyber center, uh, DC3 is focused on ensuring that our posture and our products 
product offerings in cybersecurity are at pace or in similar pace with the public sector, uh, the commercial entities and industry. And so that's not a small feat to take on. Um, so we, we recognize that we're going to need to do some implementation of artificial intelligence to be able to provide those solutions at speed and at scale. Well, Melissa Vice, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to share your perspective on some of the measures that your organization is taking to keep its data secure uh, and ensure that it's uh, the privacy concerns as well are all uh, up to speed. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Wyatt.